In this video, we are going to learn how to use polygon command in Siemens NX. So let's start. First of all, we have to go to the ribbon. In the ribbon, you can see we have a curve section, then go to more and then go to polygon. Now, this command is going to create the polygon and the limit is that you can draw the polygon with minimum number of sides as 3 and maximum number of sides as 513. Let's check it out for once. I'm going to put the value as 800. Now you can see here comes an alert. It states that number of sides must be between 3 and 513. So this is the range of making the polygon in the annex. Now I'm going to give the number of sides as 6. Now here are some points which we have to keep in mind while making the polygon. First of all, it will ask you for the center point. We have to mention the center point. Then after that, we have to mention the number of sides that how many sides we want to have in the polygon. Later on, we have the size. In size, we have to specify the point for the sides. And later on, we have three options in the sizes, which are inscribed, circumscribed and side length. We will learn about all these three one by one. And I'll mention the text as well so that there would be no confusion left regarding these three options. Later on, we have the radius and the rotation, like what is the value we want to give to the radius and along with that, what is the value we want to give to the rotation. And at last, we have the option of create persistent relation. We will also learn about this. Now, first of all, I'm going to make a polygon with number of sides as six and uh, I'm going to lock this radius with the option of inscribed radius. And we will also learn that what is meant by inscribed. Okay, now I'm going to give the radius as 200 with locking the radius. This is so important to lock the radius. Why so? Because if I do not lock the radius while giving the dimension, so it will get increased or decreased in the graphics window. And the rotation, we will check the rotation later on. So I'm going to give the center like here and it will ask me for the rotation as the radius is already locked. If I just untick this option, now you can see I can increase or decrease. That's why locking is important. So I'm going to keep the value as 200 and it will ask me for the rotation. So I'm going to keep the rotation as 203 like this and close this. Now you can see we got the angle here like this. So this is how we can have the polygon. Now I'm going to make the polygon again with some proper alignment so the number of sides are going to be six okay and i'm going to activate this option create persistent relation and later on the radius is going to be as 200 and this is going to be as 275 this is going to be as horizontal I'm going to delete this angle because I do not want it and this axis as well. Now, if we want to make it fully defined, we have to just define the position from the origin. So I'm going to define the position from the origin, this distance as 1300. And we want the vertical as well. Vertical is going to be 560. Now you can see the sketch is fully defined. Now. The question may arise here that what is meant by inscribed because we have chosen the option of inscribed in the polygon like here inscribed the radius as 200. So inscribed means I can draw a circle into this polygon of same radius which we have given the value in the polygon dialog option. Like if I just go to the polygon dialog option and the radius was of 200 mm with the inscribed option. So let's check. Just go to the circle and here I'm going to pick this point and the dia is going to be as 400 because dia equals to 2R. Now I'm going to convert this to radius. So convert to radius. Now this is meant by inscribed. Inscribed means if I'm going to draw a polygon with the inscribed option, then that means a circle could be drawn into that 
polygon with the same radius of value which has been given into the dialog option. So this is the first case of inscribed. Now let's check about the circumscribed. Just go to the polygon again and here I'm going to give the value as circumscribed radius with the same radius as 200 with the same rotation as 275 or just do not give the rotation because we do not need the angle to define the polygon. Now I'm going to pick the center point here, this one, and it will ask me for the rotation. So 360 is enough. Just uh, click here and then close it. Now this is going to be horizontal once again. And let's check for the circle. So here I'm going to again have the circle with the radius as 400. So this is the case of circumscribed. As a circumscribed means a same circle radius could be drawn outside of the polygon touching each edge. Like you can see, it is touching each point of the intersection between the edges. So this is what is meant by circumscribed. This is the case of inscribed. This is the case of circumscribed. Let me just convert to reference. And at last we have the side length. Just go to the polygon once again. And here we have the case of side length. And the number of sides are going to be 6. We have to just give the center point and the side point. So this is the center point and this is the second point. And here you can see in the dialog option the value has been changed. Like earlier it was asking for the radius but now it is asking for the length. So here I am going to give the length as 250. Now just click on the graphics window like this. For giving the point now here comes the side length which is 250 so we have covered all three types of polygon the very first one is inscribed circumscribed and the side length now we will learn about the persistent relation like what is the difference between activating that option and not activating that option just go to the polygon and here side length is okay with the okay i am going to change it to inscribed radius okay now the question is this one like this is currently activated so I'm going to just uh, place a point here like this. This is the case with persistent relation. Now I'm going to deactivate this option and click here and I'm going to give the polygon here. This is without activating the persistent relation. I will mention in the text for the ease of understanding. Now, this side length is going to be as uh, 230. Now we will check this side length as well. This is 230. Okay, now the alert is coming. It states that this dimension cannot be edited. It may be overdefined this sketch if this dimension conflicts with other dimension or persistent relation because we have a persistent relation here. That means these sides are going to be equal of this polygon. So I am going to cancel that. Okay, I am unable to edit this. Let's come to the polygon with deactivated option of persistent relation. Like if I just click here and give the dimension as 250. Now you can see some of the relation has been broken. Now just check this length. This is 304.3. Why so? Because we have deactivated the option of persistent relation. However, in the case of persistent relation, all the sides are equal. So this is the difference between activation and deactivation of the persistent relation. So let's have a quick recap of this video. So the very first one, we have learned about the range of the polygon, which lies between 3 to 5.3. And uh, later on, we have understood the all three types of polygon where the first one is inscribed, then we have circumscribed, then we have the side length. And after that, we have also understood the difference between the activation and deactivation of the persistent relation. Here is the example. This is with the persistent relation and this is without the persistent relation. So this is all in this video. I hope you have enjoyed the learnings of the polygon command in the Siemens and next. Please do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.